Recently in my announcement speech for Congress here in Louisiana, I said something very provocative. I said that global warming is a hoax. That's right, and dozens of United States Republican Party members have also said the same thing. And everybody laughed at them also. Naturally, liberals in the lamestream media became unglued and attacked me immediately. And of course, so did non-liberals. But as George Orwell once wrote, in the time of universal deceit, telling the truth is a revolutionary act. Therefore, you just decided to revolt? It's the scientists telling the truth here. A specter is haunting America. It is perhaps the greatest deception in the history of mankind. Let me guess. You're a man. Do you know a Mr. Ann Coulter, perhaps? It has been almost 10 years since failed presidential candidate Al Gore failed even though he was elected put out his propaganda film The Inconvenient Truth Pro That's right, a propaganda film which all of the world's experts when asked who saw the movie said it was accurate. A hell of a lot gave it 5 stars out of 5 for accuracy. See the links below in this video's description box for some examples. Claiming that the actions of America's energy industry are causing a catastrophic rise in the Earth's temperature. And not only has Al Gore said that, all of the world's experts in the subject have said that also. What a coincidence. But quite inconveniently for Al Gore and for the rest of the politicians who continue to advance this delusion, that's right, a delusion shared by literally hundreds of thousands of scientists throughout the world in over 112 countries, representing over 660 Earth Sciences science organizations, all sharing the same delusion. Any 10-year-old can invalidate their thesis with one of the simplest scientific devices known to man, a thermometer. Yes, and in a few seconds, I will show you exactly where to insert that. The Earth has done nothing but get colder each year since the film's release. No, Earth has not been cooling. Earth has been increasing its global average temperature in the past 10 years. And also in the previous 10 years, and also in the previous 10 years, and also in the previous 10 years, and also in the previous 10 years. The previous 10 years. You can look at the number yourselves. Down there, note number two in this video's description. There are no experts anywhere in the world that will say Earth has been cooling. The data show the exact opposite. In the past 10 years, which is the time span this lunatic is talking about, six of those 10 years set record high global average temperatures. Looking at the decadal data, in the 1980s we saw an increase of 0.18 centigrade for that decade. Global average temperature, 0.18. In the following decade, the 1990s, we saw an increase of 0.16 centigrade. In the 2000s, we saw an increase of 0.20 centigrade. Nowhere does any scientist find Earth has been cooling. All of the scientists out there agree Earth has been warming and anomalously, and they all agree on why. God certainly has a wonderful sense of irony. That's right, yes, she does. God really does. President Obama knows it's getting colder. Uh, you mean warmer, not colder. Ever since the Johnson administration, the United States Executive Office Every single president since and including the Johnson administration, that includes Bush 1 and Bush 2, have all stated that they accept the fact that humans have caused and are causing climate change and global warming. It is not just President Obama out there, it is all of the presidents at least since the Johnson administration. Link number three down below. Uh, note three. He was foolish enough to blame our recent pathetic economic growth on record freezing weather. Let's look at some of the numbers, okay? 
When President Obama uh, gained the Oval Office and took over the Executive uh, Office Chair, the Dow, 7,949. Today, 16,459. Unemployment was 7.8%. It is now 6.7%. Gross domestic project product, negative 5.4%. It is now greater than 4%. Deficit, as compared to gross domestic product, it was 9.8%. It is now 3.3%. Consumer confidence was 37.7, it is now 78.1. Last summer, Antarctica reached the coldest temperature in recorded history. And Australia, of course, reached the highest temperature in recorded history. So what? The issue is global warming due to human-caused climate change. Not just the Antarctic, which, by the way, is warming anomalously, and all of the world scientists agree on that fact. Not just the little Antarctic, the whole planet. And it has been warming anomalously due to human causes. <sighs> Trying to change the subject, huh? There's record sheet ice and a 60% rise of ice in the Arctic Sea. She means a 23% increase in Antarctic sea ice extent. Due to fresh water melting anomalously off of the Antarctic ice sheet flowing into the salty ocean. Which has caused the salty ocean to be not as salty, therefore easier to freeze. See note four, or maybe five, down below. Polar bears have been forced out of their habitat because of overpopulation. No, polar bear population has been declining, not inclining. Leaks, note five down below, just quickly. Out of the 19 known polar bear populations, one population out of 19 is known to be increasing. Three are known to be stable, eight are known to be declining, and the rest have not been counted accurately. <sighs> Liberals have professed that global warming would cause an increase in severe weather systems, such as hurricanes. That's right, according to this lunatic, all of the world's scientists out there are liberal. If you're educated, if you're informed, you're, if you're intelligent, you're liberal. See note 6 down below. For extreme weather events and the increase, all of the world's scientists agree on why. The experts agree. Over the last several years, storms have decreased. No, the number of storms have remained the same. The number of extreme storms have increased and sharply. See note six once again. Perhaps the biggest clue that this is one big scam was swept under the rug by the lapdog media. A computer hacker obtained access to the mail server at the Climate Research Center of East Anglia in the UK and downloaded over 1,000 emails proving without a shadow of a doubt that these so-called scientists had falsified data. No, there is absolutely no evidence anywhere that shows that any climatologist at any time falsified any data. See note 7 down below. Climate gate was a hoax. If you believe otherwise, step forward and show your evidence. A hell of a lot of people have been looking for evidence that would show such a thing happened. They have not been able to produce that evidence. Maybe you can. Good luck with that. It was free market capitalism that created the wealthiest society the earth had ever seen. Generated by the 99% for the 1%. Americans must stop putting up with this ruse. There's too much at stake. We need to free America's energy producers to power a new American renaissance. 
Did it not just occur to you that you just agreed with President Obama? This would create millions of new jobs here at home. Yes, switching from fossil fuels to alternative renewable energy sources, geothermal solar wind title will create millions of jobs. It will be a massive boost to the United States economy. You're agreeing with President Obama again. Isn't that painful? And provide the resources to tackle the actual apocalyptic event of our day. 18 trillion dollars of national debt. 15 trillion of which was generated under the Bush 2 regime and which under the Obama administration has been slowing down the increase. But hey, shouldn't mention that. Dramatically increasing our exports of oil and natural gas would change the globe. You just said it's a fucking hoax! 